Welcome to Backyard Plinking. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BBM pellet related from air pistols, air rifles, targets, ammo. I'm a little excited this morning. Can't you tell? Anyway, got the okay from the uh, Treasury Department in there to spend a little money yesterday. Now, Ever since this thing started, I've always told you that I'm not going to bring anything unless it's something that you can pick up off of the shelf, unless there's a special reason for it. I picked something up off of the shelf yesterday. Now, we're kind of jumping the gun a little bit is how we were going to progress, but I couldn't resist. This is from... Uh, Humorex. Um, they call it the torque. Now this is a break action and we'll get to that just in a minute. This thing is anywhere from the $130 to $150 range just depending on where you're looking at. So this is not for a younger individual. Um, this is for somebody that's you know you know way on up in the teenage years or, you know a kid at heart like myself because this thing is heavy. It's like 7.7 .7 pounds. You know, then you put the scope to it. I mean, it, it's almost eight pounds. It, it's a handful. Plus the brake action barrel. It's a whole nother story. Anyway, has a rubber recoil pad on it. Yes, a recoil pad. It's got the thumb hole stock, which I like makes it a lot easier to get to. The trigger that's on here is actually a two-stage trigger. This is adjustable. You know, any of you guys that are watching this know anything about triggers, no explanation needed. Some people, maybe so. This is the easiest way to explain it. It's a little more complicated than this, but this is the easiest way to do it. Take this Bear River, for example. When you pull the trigger, you hear a click. Now, I know from that click going forward, this thing is going to fire. The adjustable trigger that's in this one, you can actually take up some of the slack and get less travel, more travel, give you more time to think about what you're going to do. It's up to you. Pick a tinny rail that's on top. It is actually made to the receiver now, according to these guys, and I'm reading some of this off of the box. Um, according to this guys, uh, it's supposed to help prevent some of the scope movement, which is supposed to, you know, help it keep zeroed in. And you know, we looked at some of the other little scopes with uh, the uh, uh, the ones that Crossman sent, which, you know, thank you for doing it, but they are what they are. I'll show you the one they sent just in a minute. Rubberized foregrip. It's a compensator that's on the end. Now, <laughs> I'm going to read this to you. Five chamber noise dampener. It is supposed to cut down noise downrange and it's supposed to be game and neighbor friendly. Okay. The last little part. This is the reason I picked this one. It's a fiber optic front sight and a fully adjustable rear sight. Now they're calling it a micro adjustment, but um, it has a elevation adjustment and a windage adjustment. Fiber optic here, fiber optic there green in the back, red in the front, it stands out really good. If you look at some of the other brake action stuff that's in there, you'll notice they probably have a compensator on them. They have this, they have that. They don't have any iron or fixed sights that are actually on the weapon at all. You know me, I'm not crazy about scopes. I, if you're going to teach 
a younger individual firearm safety. The BBs and the pellets are a great way to do it. Make sure and get something that has a fixed sight somewhere on it because whether it's like this one, completely fixed, no adjustments, or even like this daisy that has an elevation, but that's all. All the way up to something that is fully adjustable everywhere. They learn how to use these, the ones that are fixed, and learn that either changing your grip position, your body position, the position of what, you know, whatever it is that you're doing to be able to bring it back on the target, it will pay off in the long run. If you start with optics, if you start with red dots or, you know, ACOGs or scopes or something like that, you get them used to that. If they had to fall back to this, it, it's going to be a struggle. Start here, work your way up. You start here, you learn this, you learn how they work, you learn how to manipulate whatever it is that you're doing to get it to go where you want it to go. The object, that's, that's a bonus, all right? Enough preaching. Now, some of you that might not be uh, familiar with a <laughs> break action barrel. Basically, now let's see here. We'll just do it like this. You're gonna grab it. What you have to do is bump it. If this thing is locked into place and you breach and grab the barrel and just try to pull on it, you will never, ever get it to break over. All right? You're gonna tear something up first. Take your hand, bump it like that. That'll release the catch. You're gonna grab it out here on the end. and start down with it. Come all the way down, you'll hear a click. One pellet, one pellet only. We got it open. Might as well load it. Standard flat nose. And It has an automatic safety that's back here. Every time you break it down, it will set the safety. You have to push it into fire, pull it out for safe. They advertise uh, 1,200 feet per second with the uh, alloys, which I do have some coming, or 1,100 feet per second with the standard lead pellets, which brings us to that. That backstop looks a little different. The old backstop is still back there. Two pieces of carpet. I mean, this thing is stepping up a lot from where we were before, okay? So, noise reduction. Neighbor friendly. It's a little loud. <laughs> Here. Just to uh, state a difference. But it does have a little bit of recoil to it, believe it or not. The uh, gonna see here if it's uh yeah this one does actually come with a three-year warranty um there's just a big description of everything that's on the box you get one of these take it out make sure read all the directions the other thing they send to you is a four by 32 scope nice set of lens caps too. This thing, according to their advertisement, is uh, specifically designed for air rifles. The handle, the double recoil, all the movement that goes on, the breaking it down, and putting it back together. 
um, it's supposed to, once you get it on zero, stay on zero. They do send a set of scope rings, the little Allen wrench to be able to put it together. I mean, they, they, everything is in there. Some of you guys pick this thing up if you're not familiar about how to put scopes together or whatever. Google it. It's still easy enough. Put the rings on there first, leave them a little bit loose, mount it to the picatinny rail, and twist it a little bit until you get the crosshairs lined up and tighten it up. You know, we're not going big game hunting. Unless you count lizards. You know, so you don't have to be hyper accurate with this thing, but play with it a little bit. You'll see when you're lined up. I will put this thing on here where uh, I'm still trying to get my fence fixed. Once I get that done, we're going to set up a, uh, a backstop over here. Obviously, it's going to have to be a little bit more than, you know, what we had before, but uh, we'll set it up and get us a little bit further. I will put this on there. We will give it a, we will give it a run just to see how it kind of works out. Humorex Torque. About 150 bucks. Comes with a scope, brake barrel action. And it's got some kick to it. Until next time, my name is Charles. This has been Backyard Blinking.